Alright guys, let's get started. So I'm going to create a new Xcode project. I'm going to choose a single view application and go to next. I'm going to give it a name, Richard Clone. Make sure the language is set to Swift, device is set to Universal, call data is checked, then go to next. Alright, so I'm going to put it on my desktop, create. It's going to take a second to load up. All right, so I'm not going to use a story box. I'm going to go ahead and delete this main from here. I also go ahead and delete the story box. Delete. Move to trash. Yeah, because we're not going to use the story box, I'm going to go ahead to the app delegate. And we need to give entry point to the app, the first entry point to the app. So when the app launches, it's goes to the first screen. This window over here is the main container in which the app is going to sit or everything in the app is going to contain. So I'm going to go ahead and call this window to go to UI window open up frame. So we're going to give it a frame but I'm going to use the entire frame of the screen. So UI screen dot main the main screen dot bounce the bounds of the, the phone screen, the device screen. But I'm going to go to window, my bad, window dot make and visible. Now we need to set this one so it to show up. Then let's go to window dot set, window dot root view controller. So this root view controller, it, this is expecting a, a view controller in which the, the app will navigate to once it's launched. So um, I'm going to go ahead and create uh, a tab bar controller load the audit view controllers it's, it's going to link to. So I'm going to go ahead and create a tab bar controller. Right click, new file, go to Google Touch Class and choose, let me search for UI, UI tab bar controller. Okay, over here, I'm going to call it custom tab bar controller uh, so I'm gonna make sure the language is set to Swift and click next I add it to the project alright so once the app is launched it's gonna to navigate to this tab bar controller so let me let me take it one more time the window, window is the entire container in which the app iOS application sits. So because we're not going to use the storyboard, we need to give uh, the app an entry point. So once the app launches, it should be able to navigate to one of the view controllers. So what we're going to do is that we're going to set a frame for the for the window. So we're going to use the entire frame, that's UI screen dot main, the main uh, frame of your phone screen. Then window dot make visible, make and visible. This makes this thing show up. Then window dot root view controller is equal to. So we're going to set the root view controller, the main controller, the app will um, show up when, once it's loaded. So let's go to the custom bar controller as the name suggests and customize it. I right, need to put some codes in the view did load. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to. <coughs> load view controllers once the tab bar is launched or once it's loaded so i'm going to create some views so let's the first one is going to be the chat as you saw in the wechat app the first interface is the chat so the chat is going to be a table view controller let me search for ui table view controller let me call it chat table view controller chat table view controller make sure the language is set to shift and click next great All right, so let's go ahead and register this. All right, so let's go to the next one. So let's chat VZ, the chat VC, chat V controller. Is equal to you, the chat table view controller. All right, then we need to also say chat VC dot tab bar item dot title. We need to also set a title. So the title is going to be chat. And you need to chat vc dot tabba item dot image. 
we need to set this we need to set an image view for the tabbar controller and you also need chat vz dot item dot selected image <coughs> so when the top <coughs> the top bar controller is selected we need one we need to load as a default image that's going to show and once it's selected we need to also show another image that will also appear so i have the assets already so i'm going to load the asset into the asset library over here and i have this folder which are icons all the icons for this project okay assets library let me go to the first one in the chat <coughs> so i'm going to load the charts in here so let me name it chat let me go to the chat selected when the chat is selected or it's been highlighted let me go to this one chat selected now let me add the address as well so the next one from the chat we go to the contact so let me put the contact as well this is the contact let me change it to contact real quick then contact select let me also load this one as quickly as possible contact selected all right let me go back and also choose after the contact we go to the discover the discover tab so i'm going to put this one in real quick discover yeah that's okay discover selected then let me go to the next one the mean the last tab is the mean mean icon to me and let me also add a mean <coughs> selected very quick okay so we have all the image assets loaded up in the <coughs> assets container so let me go to <coughs> the custom tab controller again and we can set the image so the, the first one the chart chart image is going to pop out okay this one and the selected for this selected so chat selected here yeah, real quick all right so we're gonna have to also create let nav nav um chat nav chat nav the chat navigation controller so it's gonna go ui navigation controller open up and look for the root view controller here <clears throat> so we're gonna have to pass in this chat vc in here all right and now we're going to self dot view controllers. So this um this UI tab bar controller has it accepts it loads view controllers. So it has an array of controllers. We need to also give it an array of controllers. I'm going to pass in the chat my bad chat no up in here. Okay, yeah. So that's all right. All right. So we have three more view controllers to load load up so let me go ahead and create them real quick copy and paste real quick so the next one is going to be the contact contact vc let me go to also let me create the contact real quick so this right click new file go to the google touch class next contact Contact table view. Go to the next one. Make sure the language is set to Swift and go to the next. Add it to the project. I'm going to go ahead to create the next one. From the contact, we go to the discover. The discover is also going to be a table view. So contact discover table view. Make sure the language is set to Swift and next. And add it to the project. The last one is also going to be the mean. It's also going to be a table view. So next, Google Touch Class. Next, mean table view controller. Make sure the language is set to suit as usual and go to next and add it to the project. So we can load all these view controllers in the tab bar. Okay, so let me go to the next the tab bar. All right, so let me change this one real quick to the contact table view. Then I'm going to also change the title to contact. I have to also change the image to contact as well over here. The contact selected, contact selected right here. All right, so I'm gonna have to also load this 
in here in this navigation and change this one to contact contact this contact nav actually All right Are we good? So once I'm done, let me also append this one here. So yeah, so the first <coughs> few that's going to show up is the chats based on the area over here. So the first one is the chat nav. It's going to load this navigation controller. This navigation controller will also load this table view controller. The same way this contact nav will also load up the contact table view controller. Uh, let's go ahead and create the others. The other one is discover. Okay, so this is the discover discover table view controller. <clears throat> Let me change this to discover right quick. We change this one to the discover icon. So to discover discover selected discover selected here. Yeah. All right, we're good. And okay, I'm gonna have to also change this one. So discover VC, 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 discover VC, discover VC, discover VC, and also pass in here discover VC. And let me change this one to discover lab, discover navigation controller, and also append this over here. Yeah, so it will load in this other chat, contact nav, and discover nav. And finally, we have the main, the main table view controller. So let me also load our main table view controller real quick. Let me change this one to main VC. Then okay, let me copy and paste very quick the same thing. Main VC, main VC, main VC. And um, this was me nav. So I'm gonna pass in the me VC, the me nav real quick, and also change the title. So the title is gonna be me. Alright, the icon as well. Me icon here, and then me selected. Me selected. Okay. Alright, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so everything looks good. Everything looks good. Okay, one more thing. Yeah, I mean, I let it. So the me has to also append the me, me collect a table view controller also over here. So it's going to load up in this other chat nav, contact nav, discover nav, and the me nav. So this is how we can uh, make a custom UI table view controller in code. So I'm going to go ahead and also run the app real quick and let's see how it's going to. Uh, show up uh, before I load up let me go to the various table, table views and also change the title so we can see the difference so uh, the first one the chat is going to be navigation item dot title is equal to chat then let me go to contact and change uh, navigation item dot title the title is equal to contact. Yeah, basically the same thing. Let me copy and paste very quick so that discover tab and change the title to discover. Let me go to the main table and also change it to me very quick. All right, so I'm going to choose iPhone 7 here and run it on iPhone 7 and see how it's going to uh, show up. It's going to take a while.